Once again, my laptop has broken down, but that doesn't mean that I still can't make video responses. Um, you know, I'm just doing things the old-fashioned way, so, you know, please excuse me if this isn't exactly the most entertaining video of all time. So a lot of people these days have become feminists, you know, even the bottom barrel people like Brandon Smith and all the other cringe tier people have become feminists. I mean, I myself became a feminist. It's something which has become a lot more common with ranters and a lot more ranters have become feminists. And it's caused a lot of people that are anti-feminist to flip their fucking shit. Now, the funny thing is that I made video responses to feminists who lost their fucking shit when they found out that there were women against feminism. They were like, how can this be? How can this be possible? These are the same people that will say, oh, well, I won't judge you if you're a feminist. I never met anyone who ever said that. Never. If, if you are a feminist, then I'm automatically going to judge you anyway. I won't treat you any less if you're a feminist. There are good feminists out there. And surprisingly, yes, there are good feminists out there, such as Christina Hoff Summers. But that number is so fucking low that you might as well not call yourself a feminist anyway. Yet the moment you identify as a feminist, you have a few feminist opinions, you might talk about gender politics a little bit more than you normally do, they all of a sudden flip their shit and get really hostile and upset. Well, unless the person admits that he doesn't follow the traditional third-way feminist ideology, such as the wage gap argument, yeah, no fucking shit that people are going to lose their fucking minds. Just because you like to address that you're a feminist, you think women should have equal rights, you think women are the more systematically oppressed than men? In third world countries, yes, women are oppressed! And that yes, while there are men, that do go through their troubles in uh, this society. Uh, men are kind of tilted in favor over the women. And since that's wrong, feminism is trying to abolish that. And since people agree with that, they identify with that part of feminism. This is totally fucking bullshit. Considering the fact that we already proven that the wage gap doesn't exist. Or it does exist, but the wage gap isn't based on sexism. And we also proven that the 1 in 5 rape statistic is also really fucking bullshit. And it's been proven by a feminist. Not a third wave feminist, a first wave feminist, Christina Hoff Summers. Another thing is, just because a person agrees with certain parts of an ideology doesn't mean that they're automatically part of that ideology. It's like saying that... Uh, because you believe that killing is wrong, it automatically means you are a part of Christianity. Granted, yeah, there's going to be bad feminists. If you go on Tumblr and you really search, you know, kill all men, all of those people that think that men deserve to die, men are just cis scum, die cis scum, yeah, obviously you're going to find some really fucked up people, but you can apply that to any sort of movement. Well, I can say the exact same thing with the KKK or the Nazis. I mean, there's nothing stopping me from calling myself uh, either a member of the KKK or being a Nazi. The thing is, the reason I don't call myself a fucking Nazi or, or a member of the KKK is because not only do I not agree with their ideologies, but they're fucking hypocrites. Okay? They're big fucking hypocrites in the same way that feminists are fucking hypocrites. You can apply it to the atheist community. Some people in there can be really fucking disgusting. You know, Cult of Dusty is somebody who has no tolerance towards Christians. Jacqueline Glenn is someone who went out and fucking harassed people for the love of God. So yeah, you are going to find some crazy people in the movement. Even if we ignore the extremists in your fucking group, it doesn't change the fact that you're still spreading big fat fucking lies within your own feminist community. Regardless of where you go, whether it be feminism, atheism, or any movement, it doesn't make the movement bad. In other words, there are good right-wing conservatives, there are good Nazis out there, you know, there are actually good people out there within that movement that just misunderstood.
I mean, plus, if you're going to be those people that turn and say that you're not going to judge someone for being a feminist, yet when more and more people become a feminist, you seem to have a really, really big issue with it, it just seems a little bit funny that, you know, you were cool with people when they were anti-feminist, when they were saying opinions which are a little bit more against feminism and are basically, you know, saying, oh, patriarchy doesn't exist. Um, you know, maybe saying, oh, catcalling isn't really an issue. Uh, so, yeah. By the way, I'd like to point out, TJ said in an old video, I'll try and find it, that uh, someone was catcalling his mother and his dad beat him up and he encouraged that. But you haven't made a single link to any of the Amazing Atheist videos or anyone exposing the Amazing Atheist for saying that. At least you could have think that maybe you should save that, you know, one video in a folder. Like, it's not that fucking hard. I do this with every fucking feminist video that I ever encounter. I put them in my watch later list. Okay, it's not that fucking difficult. So, at this point, all I have to say is, you're just making assertions. Okay, without some fucking evidence, all I can say is, you are pulling shit out of your ass. Now, in a video response that you made towards me, you mentioned about how I am wrong about the wage gap argument. You, you didn't even bother to add any facts, you just dismiss it immediately. Now, granted, I haven't provided any links about the wage gap argument in that particular video, but it's mainly because that's not even the main focus of my argument. The main focus of my argument is that feminism fucking sucks ass. And you, you just blindly defended him. Okay. It, 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 here's the thing with you. You don't even provide links to prove anything. You don't back up anything on what you have to say. At least with me, I can provide at least two, three extra links proving my case. But you, oh, you, you don't seem to like adding links in the description now, do you? And despite the fact that you provided no fucking links in the description, not even show a fucking screenshot to prove that I am wrong, you still have the fucking balls to demand that I need to bring evidence to the table in order to prove myself right. Listen, here's a little word of advice. If you're going to head to a knife fight, bring a knife. If you're going to go to a gun fight, bring a gun. If you're going to demand evidence, then you better have evidence to back up what you're saying. Just putting that out there for people since he seems to be the ringleader of anti-feminism. The ringleader of anti-feminism. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why, but you remind me so much of Candy Kale 10. So-called atheism kind is, how dare you, sir? Let me slap you some more. And I don't care that your Mr. Red Zion thing a deist thing. He's still a false Christian, and he always will be a false Christian. As for your Jim Prophet support thing, I don't care about the whole Jim Prophet supports the WBC at this point. Because your godfather TJ, he's the one supporting the WBC. He likes that crazy witch protester Shirley Phelps Roper and the evils of the Westboro Baptist Church. So when he says that they're better Christians, I don't think protesting dead soldiers is the way of saying that. And I don't think I would call a Bible says protest dead soldiers who defend your country. That will make you a better Christian. No. I mean, sure, you can have a different opinion with someone in the movement. I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm just saying it's a bit funny that your ringleader has said all of this stuff which goes against it. If you're going to bring this shit up without any fucking evidence, then guess what? This can be dismissed without any fucking evidence. So, dismissed. I mean, uh, for fuck's sakes, TJ's even said in this video, Tumblr feminist that some of these feminists that are going against certain stuff and doing certain things are pseudo-feminists. They're not feminists 
because they contradict the feminist movement. Except that today's feminist movement is nothing more than a big fat joke. What's once a good, good group of people are now just tainted with such stupid, stupid people like yourself who still believe in this bullshit ideology that women are now still being oppressed here in America. When there are women in third world countries that are literally being stoned to death. If you are a male and you get accused of being a rapist, then guess what? Your entire life goes down the fucking drain. Almost every woman around you wants your head on a fucking silver platter. And guess what? The feminists reinforce this shit. Even if you've been proving clearly that you are innocent, then guess what? You're still being hated for a crime that you never fucking commit! Feminists reinforce the ideology that you cannot be racist to a white person, nor can you be sexist towards a man, because according to their fucking logic, the oppressors are the ones that can be sexist, not the oppressed! And last but not least, we have feminists trying to ban the word bossy because apparently, for some odd reason, little girls can't handle the ideology of being called bossy. You have your head so far shoved up your ass that you can literally hear the fucking ocean! He admitted that in his video. Yet, you know, when he does it, no one minds. Yet in the comment section, if you look in the comment section, it's littered with people. That are saying to feminists who agree with it, ah oh, well, isn't that a no true Scotsman fallacy? So, it's a no true Scotsman fallacy when a feminist does it. Yet when the amazing atheist does it, it's wonderful logic, you can agree with it, you can understand where he's coming from. By the way, I just want to point out, um, a no true Scotsman fallacy would be, you know, making a completely incomprehensible point by saying that people that go against the main foundations of a movement don't really seem to be in favour of the movement and are just kind of using it to push their own agenda. I made a video about how there was this one feminist that aborted a child because it was a boy. And I point out the massive, massive sexism within that fucking article. And one feminist was like, no, she's not really a feminist. No, 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 she's not really feminist. This is not what feminism is about. She's literally playing the no true Scotsman fallacy right there. And people like yourself love to exclude uh, yourselves from other feminists that either A, don't agree with you enough, or B, do agree with you, but have a much more extreme version of your agreement. I don't think that's a far-fetched claim. I think it's stating the accurate. If you're a feminist and you hate men, you're not a feminist. Because let me guess, the dictionary says so. If you're a person who hates men that are using it. I just wanted to point that out. I just wanted to say to all of those people that are basically okay with, you know, the idea of feminism until their friends become feminists. That's fucking retarded. To all of those people that are, you know, okay when an anti-feminist says an opinion about feminism, which might be a little bit in favour of it, or might just be, you know, being a bit of an, being a bit apologetic towards the movement and defending it in some ways, that's fine. However, when the feminist does the same thing, that's all of a sudden bad. Just wanted to say that's really cool, really nice that you have that stigma, that bias. Not saying all anti feminists are like that. I'm just saying that a significant portion of the people I associate with are like this. This is a video where if the shoe fits, take it off. In other words, I can sum up this video. Assertions, assertions, assertions. I am the atheist gamer. Peace the game out.